from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Happening today, people 65 and up can register for an appointment to get the COVID-19 vaccine in Pinellas County. And over in Pasco County, registration reopens tomorrow. Both counties received a new shipment of vaccines. The window for Pinellas County opens this morning at 10. Pasco County opens tomorrow afternoon at 2. Appointments have to be made online at patientportalfl.com or by calling 844-770-8548. Appointments are expected to fill up fast. And remember, Florida requires you to bring proof of residency to your appointment. And you're going to want to mark your calendars because Publix is adding more vaccine appointments next Wednesday. That window opens at 6 a.m. Publix opened another registration round yesterday morning, but everything filled up in a couple of hours. If you try again on Wednesday, you're advised not to refresh your browser if you can't get in right away. We've put the link to register at Publix and at other local vaccination sites on ABCActionNews.com. We have an article right on the homepage. In Florida, over 1,100,000 people have received their first dose of the vaccine. Another nearly 140,000 have received their second. The Clearwater Marine Aquarium Research Institute is tracking one of the rarest whales in the world. They're conducting aerial surveys on right whales. It's found off Florida's east coast and up toward the Carolinas. The right whale is one of the world's most endangered large whale species, with only about 400 left. The right whale actually got its name, the right whale, because they were considered to be the targeted species in the days of whaling, being that they are very slow swimming animals. They spend a lot of time at the surface. That researcher says bringing awareness to this species is key for their survival. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. So a little bit of morning fog out there will dissipate here over the next few hours, but we're going to be left with more cloud cover to the north of I-4, more sunshine to the south, and there's even a slight shower chance north of I-4 today, especially this morning, but mid-70s around I-4, south of I-4, upper 70s to around 80 degrees, and to the north, you're actually going to be stuck into the upper, upper 60s and low 70s given the extensive cloud cover, but then tomorrow, everybody breaks out into the sunshine after a little bit of morning fog, and we'll see warmer temperatures area-wide, mid to upper 70s to the north, and upper 70s and lower 80s to the south. Thank you, Jason. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device, and we'll see you there.